Hey, what's up, fellas? If you're trying to break into IT, you've probably heard of CompTIA A+, and CompTIA Network Plus certifications. But which one should you start with? And more importantly, how do you make the right choice without wasting money and your time? My name is Asim Khan. I'm an IT manager based here in Silicon Valley. Today, I'm going to break down some of the most common questions beginners have about these two certifications. What I'm sharing with you is comes from the real world experience. No fluff, no wasted time. Are you ready for this? Let's do it. Question number one, should I start with CompTIA A plus or CompTIA Network Plus? Start with CompTIA A plus if you're brand new to IT. It teaches the fundamental hardware, software, operating system, troubleshooting, and some basic networking and security. On the other hand, Network Plus builds on top of it. It dives deeper into networking concepts, IP addressing, subnet protocols, ports, and security, and troubleshooting network devices. But it assumes you have the baseline knowledge. So for 90% of the beginners, A Plus is the smarter first move. Question number two, what kind of jobs can I apply after completing A Plus or Network Network Plus certification. After completing CompTIA A Plus certification, it gets your foot in the door. Like help desk, desktop, IT technician. These are hands-on jobs where you learn fast, solve real problems, and get comfortable with users. Network Plus open doors for network support and junior network admin, but usually only if you have some hands-on experience. Question number three, are these certifications worth it in 2025? Of course, if you use them the right way. Companies don't just hire you because you have a certification. They hire you because you have put in the effort to learn and back it up with the real knowledge. A plus and Network Plus are still recognized by the government, small or big corporations, especially for entry level roles. They don't guarantee you a job, but they open doors for you that might otherwise stay closed. Question number four, do I need a certification to get my first IT job? Not always. Some people get it through internships, referrals, or self-taught experience. But let's be real. If you don't have connections or technical background, certifications like A Plus and Network Plus can give you that initial credibility to get your resume noticed. Question number five. How long does it take to study for these exams? For CompTIA A+, it can take up to three months if you study part-time. For Network Plus, give yourself at least two months, especially since the concepts are more abstract. Guys, it really depends on your schedule and learning style, but consistent efforts make a huge difference. Question number six, can I self-study or do I need to sign up with a bootcamp? You can absolutely self-study. Many people pass A plus and Network Plus exams by just watching YouTube videos, practice tests, and affordable online courses like free guide from Professor Messers and or Jason Dion. Boot camps can work, but they're very expensive and fast paced. If you are disciplined and willing to grind, self-study is a solid and budget friendly path. Question number seven, and this is a million dollar question that I get asked a lot. Can I skip CompTIA A plus and go to Network Plus straight? Technically, yes. There's no rule which says you should take A plus before you attempt Network Plus exam. But here's my honest take on this matter. As an IT manager with 15 years of hands-on experience, skipping A plus is usually a big mistake, especially if you're brand new to IT, because Network Plus assumes you already know the IT basics, how operating system works, how to troubleshoot hardware and software, how to use command line tools, and how network interact with devices. Those are the skills you learn in your A plus certification. In my entire career of IT, I have never seen anybody landing a junior network role without having a strong IT foundation. Whether they got it through A plus certification or they work in the help desk or desktop team. So unless you already have a couple of years of technical experience under your belt, skipping A plus can leave some big gaps in your knowledge. And trust me, hiring manager will notice that. If you're aiming for long-term success in IT, 
A plus gives you that solid foundation to build on. It's not just about passing a test. It's about how to support users, fix problems, and speak the technical language of IT. That's the kind of stuff that gets your foot in the door. So if you're serious about getting into IT in 2025, here's what I recommend as an IT manager. Start with A+, if you're new or if you don't have any hands-on experience. Go with Network+, Plus if you already have a couple of years of technical experience under your belt. Both certification can launch your career, but only if you commit to learning, practicing, and applying it in the real world. So that's it, folks. I hope this helps. If you want me to answer any more questions, please leave me a comment. I'll be more than happy to reply. If this content was helpful, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and help me grow. Stay tuned for more friendly videos. Until then, take care 